Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 34th question from CBC Class 10 Examination 2022-23, Section D, where each question is of 5 marks. Now, this question is from areas related to circles chapter. A chord of a circle of radius 14 cm subtends an angle of 60 degree at the center. Find the area of the corresponding minor segment of the circle. Also, find the area of the major segment of the circle. So, to understand this question, let us draw a rough figure first. So, here we have drawn a circle with center O. AB is acting as a chord and OA and OB are the radii of the circle of length 14 cm. And the chord makes an angle of 60 degree at the center of the circle as it is mentioned over here. Now, the chord divides the circle into two segments. One is the small segment called the minor segment and one is this larger segment called the major segment. Now here we need to find out what is the area of this minor segment ACB and the area of this larger segment ADB. So here we have written the minor segment is ACB and the major segment is ADB. To begin with, let us consider the area of the sector OACB. So we have area of sector OACB is made up of two things. One is the area of the triangle OAB and area of the small segment ACB. So, we have written here, it is made up of area of triangle OAB plus area of the minor segment ACB. But here we need to find out the area of the minor segment. So, we are going to move the area of triangle on the other side of equal to sign. So, we get the area of minor segment ACB as area of sector OACB minus the area of the triangle OAB. Next, let us write down the respective formulae for area of sector and area of triangle. Now, area of sector OACB is given by the formula theta over 360 degree times pi r square. Theta represents the center angle. So, in this case, 60 represents the theta times pi times r square. r is the radius of the given circle. So, r is going to be 14 in this case. Minus area of the triangle OAB is represented by the formula 1 over 2 times a times b. Now, a and b represents the radii of the circle. So, it's going to be 14 times 14 sin theta. So, theta again represents the center angle. Next, let us begin by substituting their respective values. So, here theta over 360 degree we have 60 over 360 times the value of the pi is not mentioned in the question. So, we have to take it as 22 over 7 times the radius square is 14 times 14 minus 1 over 2 times. Now, a and b are the radii of the circle. So, 14 times 14 times sine of 60 degree. Now, here we can simplify the fractions. That is 61 times is 60 and 66 times is 360. Now, 7 and 14 will also divide each other. So, 7 1 times and 7 2 times. Now, let us do the same thing over this side. 2 and 14 divide each other. So, we have 2 1 times and 2 7 times is 14. And in the next step, we are going to write the value of sine 60, which is a standard angle. So, we have written here 1 over 6 times 22 times 2 times 14 minus 7 times 14 times root 3 over 2 which is the value of sine 60. Now here again we can simplify this fraction that is 2 divides the 6 that is 2 1 times and 2 3 times. So we cannot simplify this any further and here we can divide 14 and 2. So 2 1 times and 2 7 times is 14. Now here when we multiply 22 and 14 in the numerator we get it as 308 and in the denominator we have a 3 minus 7 times 7 is 49 times root 3. So, this is the area of the minor segment ACB 308 over 3 minus 49 root 3 centimeters square or if you want to change it into decimal if you know the value of square root of 3 you can take it as 1.73 and then you can simplify it and write it as a decimal that is 17.9 centimeters square. Now remember in this question the value of square root of 3 is not mentioned. So it is absolutely fine if you stop your answer over here. Now here we have got the value of area of the minor segment. Now let us try to find out the area of the major segment. So let me redraw the figure over here. So here we have the figure and here the highlighted region is representing the major segment. So to find out the area of the major segment we need to just subtract the area of the minor segment from the area of this entire circle. So let us write here. So, area of the major segment ADB 
is area of the circle minus the area of this minor segment which is ACB. Now here the area of the circle formula is pi r square where r represents the radius minus area of the minor segment we had got the value as 308 over 3 minus 49 root 3. Now let us substitute the values over here. Now pi is written as 22 over 7 times r square is 14 times 14 minus now expanding the bracket so we have minus of plus is minus 308 over 3 and minus of minus we get it as plus 49 root 3. Now here 7 and 14 divide each other so we have 7 1 times 7 and 7 2 times 14. Now multiplying all these three values we get 616 minus 308 over 3 plus 49 root 3. Now let us take a common LCM for 616 along with 308 over 3. So here we have 616 over 1 so multiplying the numerator and denominator by 3 we get 616 times 3 gives us 1848 over 3 minus 308 over 3 plus 49 root 3. Now these two have a common denominator so we can directly subtract the numerators 1540 over 3 plus 49 root 3. So this is the area of the major segment so you can keep it as it is and write here centimeter square or you can again change it to a decimal answer so we get here 598.2 centimeter square. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example do comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.